There are many talented and gifted Brazilian artists, but my favorite has to be Romero Brito. Romero Brito is an internationally recognized Brazilian artist. He combines elements of cubism, graffiti, and pop art to create works that are simultaneously playful and hopeful. Self-taught artist, he is inspired by the work of Matisse, Picasso, and the icons of American pop art. To complete this challenge, you will want to dig through your supply kit to pull out your mixed media pad, a pencil, a sharpie, your markers, and the two um, worksheets that we included. I think these worksheets are a really great place to start. They're just simple coloring sheets that you can color in at your leisure, but they'll give you a sense of how Romero Brito constructs his artwork and all of his pieces. And I think that's a really great place to start. So before we start working on our own art, why don't you take some time to just color in these worksheets? To try your hand at recreating a, si a style similar to that of our artist, you may want to start very simple. So start with simple shapes or objects that you know that you can draw successfully. I love to draw fish, so that's where I'm going to start. I'm just going to draw a very simple outline. of my fish, I'm gonna add a big eye. He's a happy fish, so of course he's got a big smile. There you go, just a nice, simple outline. And from here, I'm gonna start adding those elements of cubism simply by creating some lines, cutting my fish into a few different shapes. So maybe I'm gonna put a line here, I'm gonna add another one here. Maybe on the tail, we've got some lines here and here. And now to add those elements of pop art, I'm gonna fill in some of these empty spaces now with different designs. So maybe on this one, I'm just going to add some straight lines. Here, maybe a few circles. Maybe I leave this space with no design whatsoever and come back in here and add some hearts since that's a popular theme in Romero Brito's art. Now I could stop here or I could choose to add some background. So my fish is in water so maybe I'm just going to add a few wavy lines. And again, same thing, I might break those lines into different pieces and in different sections, adding different designs. There's so many things I can choose from, sometimes it gets hard to decide what to do. Once you're happy with the, the general design and layout of your piece, then obviously the next step would be to go over all of your pencil lines with Sharpie to really call those sections out. The last step of your challenge will be to just cover your page in bold, bright colors. Let's see what you come up with. I can't wait to see your finished project.